One oil change can swing engine wear by over 400%, and most drivers never see it coming. In this list, we expose 14 oils and the certification bluff that traps buyers. The top-tier oils don't just meet API. They stack rigorous OEM approvals and prove it in labware metals and long-drain data. The bottom five? Missing or outdated certifications, risky viscosities, and clearance bin chemistry that can trigger sludge and warranty headaches. Watch to learn the two-label check that predicts real protection and the specific approvals that matter when heat, load, and time pile on. Number one, AMSOIL Signature Series. What happens when oil is built for 25,000 mile drains and still posts cleaner wear reports? AMSOIL Signature Series targets that gap, and many fleets use it to stretch service without crossing warranty lines. API sets the minimum, but long drains face turbo heat, oxidation, and fuel dilution. Signature Series counters with low volatility to slow thickening and maintains film under load so bearings and cam lobes stay protected when towing pushes sump temps. Fleets don't guess. They pair AMSOIL's long drain claim with oil analysis, watching iron and aluminum trend low versus off-the-shelf synthetics under heavy trailers. AMSOIL publishes compatibility with key OEM specs and demonstrates oxidation and nitration control in standardized testing, backing interval decisions with data. Number two. Castrol Edge Advanced Full Synthetic. Can an oil stiffen under pressure? That's the claim behind Castrol Edge's fluid titanium, designed to reinforce the film when the cam and followers load up. The question is whether it holds viscosity when turbo temps soar and fuel dilution wants to thin everything out. Sequence IVB Timing Chain Wear. Results and lab shear testing point to real stability, not just ad copy. Blackstone-style UOAs often show low iron in direct-injected engines, and the oil runs clean in turbo units that see extreme heat cycles. Look for Dexos 1 Gen 3 licensed grades, plus APISP and ACEA ratings that speak to deposit control and LSPI resistance. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Number 3. Mobile One Extended Performance not all long drains are equal. Can Mobile One Extended Performance hold grade and stay clean at 15,000 miles? That's the claim. But extended intervals invite oxidation, fuel dilution, and ringland deposits that wreck viscosity and build varnish if chemistry fades. This formula backs it with Dexos 1 Gen 3 licensing, APISP, and a triple additive system tuned for long drains. Its ultra-stable PAO base with moly, boron, and friction modifiers resists burn-off and thinning, while balanced detergents and dispersants keep insolubles suspended. Highway-duty UOAs routinely show stable viscosity, low iron, and consistent wear metals at 10,000 to 15,000 when engines run hot but steady, supported by low NOAC loss and durable HTHS. Number four. Penzoil Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic. Can base oil purity actually keep pistons cleaner? Penzoil Ultra Platinum says yes with Pure Plus, converting natural gas into a base oil that starts virtually free of impurities. That purity targets fewer precursors for sludge. But the real test is in engines that idle, short trip, and cycle EGR. In those conditions, you want deposit control that holds up beyond charts. Piston cleanliness testing tied to sequence 3-4 standards and user oil analyses often show low insolubles and tidy valve covers well past normal intervals. It carries APISP and Dexos 1 Gen 3, signaling timing chain wear control, LSPI defense, and oxidative stability. Turbocharger heat? Strong oxidation resistance keeps the film intact through repeated hot soaks and fleets report cleaner internals over multiple change cycles. Number five, Royal Purple High Performance Synthetic. Does metal bonding chemistry matter at cold start? Royal Purple says its surface affinity helps when oil is thin and the pump hasn't filled every gallery yet. That's the moment boundary lubrication carries the load, and that's where the brand claims a friction edge. Additive talk is cheap, so you look for outcomes. Startup wear shows up as early spikes in iron and aluminum in mixed-driving UOAS, 
then settles as oil warms. When those early miles trend lower, drivers report quieter top ends and smoother idle. Warranty comfort needs the basics. API compliance, OEM compatibility, and product lines that meet Dexos 1 Gen 3 while respecting phosphorus limits for catalytic converters. When the label matches and UOAS show reduced startup metals, that surface chemistry stops being a claim. Number 6. Valvoline Advanced Full Synthetic Can an oil hit the sweet spot without drama? Valvoline Advanced Full Synthetic aims for that balance. Solid anti-wear, clean internals, and approvals that actually matter for modern engines. Direct injection and turbos punish weak chemistry with LSPI knock and chain stretch. Valvoline aligns with API SP slash ILSACGF6 and, where labeled, Dexos 1 Gen 3, bringing LSPI mitigation and timing chain wear control into play. In user oil analyses from EcoBoost and GM turbo applications, wear metals often stay modest, while varnish on cam caps and in VVT passages shows minimal darkening across normal intervals. Viscosity retention holds up under heat, echoing independent tests that found slower breakdown over the service life. Number 7. Liqui Moly Synthetic Motor Oil European approvals are a different game, and Liqui Moly plays to that rulebook. Can a German spec oil deliver friction control and approval depth beyond API? It leans on moly based friction modifiers to lower boundary friction and keep lifters and cam lobes gliding when heat spikes. The brand's adherence to ACEA specs and hard approvals like VW504-507 and MB229.X signals endurance under high temp extended service demands. Does that translate for you? In TFSI and TDI engines, user oil analyses often show low iron, controlled soot, and viscosity that holds near grade over longer intervals, which supports cleaner timing hardware and stable oil pressure. One reviewer even noted, I first tried it on a BMW inline six. That tick was gone. Number eight, Quaker State Ultimate Durability Synthetic. Does value pricing have to mean low protection? Quaker State. Ultimate Durability Synthetic leans on OEM grade approvals at big box prices, aiming to give daily drivers the essentials without cutting corners. The concern is real. Budget blends often thin the additive pack. Can it keep LSPI away and protect the chain when you're on short trips? Look for Dexos 1 Gen 3 on the bottle and APISP on the back. In stop and go use, user reports and UOAS often show strong detergent action, with insolubles staying in check and wear metals trending steady. Number 9. Model Synthetic Motor Oil. When track abuse meets street reliability, can a boutique brand secure approval sheets and real endurance? Motel walks that line with distinct families. Street-approved synthetics that carry A, C, E, A, and O, E, M listings, and pure racing blends built for laps, not warranties. Here's the catch. Track-focused formulas often trade detergency for film strength. Choose the street-approved Motul lines with the proper approvals and you keep valves and ring packs clean while staying within manufacturer specs. Number one, Express Lube Pro Motor Oil. Express Lube Pro sounds official, but the label often leans on vague synthetic wording without proving anything. That's the trap. If you don't see the API donut or a Dexos license, you're guessing on chemistry and risking warranty friction. Here's why that matters. Oils without certified additive balance can foam and shear, starving the pump at high RPM and baking deposits that turn into chain rattle and sludge in hot turbos. Warranties hinge on proof. Missing or outdated categories can be grounds for denial after a failure. Number two, Questron Motor Oil. Low price and big promises. Does Questron actually carry the approvals your engine needs? Flip the bottle. If you don't see APISP and a real OEM approval like a Dexos 1 Gen 3 license number, you're flying blind. Meets requirements isn't the same as approved. Approvals mean the oil passed specific test sequences. 
Dexos 1 Gen 3 enforces tough hurdles like Sequence YVB for timing chain wear and Sequence YX for LSP. Eye events in direct injected turbos. Without those, you risk thin films, chain stretch, and detonation under low speed, high load pulls. Number three, bullseye motor oil. Clearance bin gold or chemistry past its expiration date? Bullseye motor oil temps with a low sticker, but what's on the back label tells the story. If you spot older categories like AP, ISN, or SM, you're looking at specs built before today's LSPI and timing chain tests, and that gap shows up fast in modern DI turbos. Aging additive packs separate on long shelves, detergents lose bite, and relabeled cases can hide mismatched batches. That's where owners report sticky rings, amber varnish on cam caps, and sluggish VVT after a few hot cycles. Number four, Q10 to 40 motor oil. Q10 to 40. Motor oil sounds universal. One bottle for everything, until the engine disagrees. That label pushes a mid-weight blend, even where manufacturers call for low viscosity 0W20 or 5W30. Convenience turns costly when tolerances are tight. Wrong viscosity does real damage. On cold start, thicker oil moves slower, starving bearings and delaying VVT actuators that need quick pressure to set cam timing. Under load, a bargain 10W40 can shear out of grade, thinning just as sump temps rise, which drags MPG and triggers timing faults. Match the cap's viscosity plus the exact OEM approval. Next, a final caution on high mileage synthetics. Number five, mileage 365 lubricants. Mileage 365 lubricants leans on high mileage synthetic promises. But what's actually in the jug? You need to separate label language from verified chemistry before it lives in your crankcase. Some products sold as full synthetic can shear and foam, leaving varnish and sludge that stress old seals and start seepage. Here's the key. Full synthetic can mean group three or group four slash five. Group four PAO resists oxidation and shear better, while some group three blends rely on additives to hold the line. A PISP and a real OEM approval beat any front label claim because they prove LSPI control, chain wear limits, and oxidation resistance. Foaming and shear show up as lifter tick and low oil pressure warnings. No Dexos license? Skip it. Up next, a fast two label test that filters winners instantly.